Here are the details of the imitation game. Imagine that there are three rooms. In each room, there is a computer terminal, and each computer is connected to each other through a local area network. The first room is occupied by an interrogator. The other two rooms are occupied by participants, designated A and B. The identity of the participant could be either male or female. The interrogator doesn't know the gender of either participant such that A could be male or female and B could be male or female. So here's the thought experiment. The goal of the interrogator is to determine who is male and who is female. One of the participants is actually male and one is actually female. Since the rooms are soundproof and the interrogator can't see into the other room, the only way the interrogator can discover the true gender of the participants is by typing out questions on the computer and using the responses of the participants to determine what their actual gender is. And the goal of the participants is to convince the interrogator of their actual gender. So what sort of questions might the interrogator ask to determine the true gender of the participants. The interrogator might try straightforward questions. The interrogator might try specific questions related to gender. Or the interrogator might try general questions aimed at putting the participants on the spot. To conclude this thought experiment, here are two questions to think about. If you were the interrogator, what questions would you ask to establish the gender identity of the participants? If you were a participant, what answers would you give which could absolutely establish your gender and the gender of the other participant? That's it for now. Thank you for watching and take care.